Good morning, guys. It's another beautiful day in the Netherlands, and today I'll be driving through Zealand. So when the Dutch explorer Abel Tasman discovered New Zealand, apparently he thought of his home country and this general area, and called it New Zealand. So I'm very curious uh, to see the comparison and to see why Abel Tasman named it after Zealand. I doubt there will be any uh, similarities, but we will find out. And I will probably not head into Belgium just today, but just drive up to the border and find another campground or somewhere to stay. And Belgium is for tomorrow. So yeah, let's get back on the road. So, I stocked up on diesel again. It's a little bit more expensive here, but that's okay. I also finally bought one of these. I didn't thought of bringing one and actually would have needed it several times, but nothing happened. So, finally got one of these, now in Dutch, so that's like a souvenir even. I also thought uh, to uh, fill up the jerry can, which was empty so far. So, if I actually do run out of fuel, which I don't think will happen, because this vehicle seems to have range of a thousand kilometers or something, um, I do have a jerry can with me. Excellent. So about 50 kilometers into Zeeland or Zeeland, uh, I have to say I understand why Abel Tasman uh, named New Zealand after this part of his home country. Uh, it has a feeling of... it reminds me of the Catlins on the South Island. And where I am right now there is like dunes and beaches and all of that, which reminds me of the Fabel Spit in the north of the South Island, for example. So I do understand it. Also the sky. The sky is very wide and open and seems bigger than in uh, way inland Europe and that's the same feeling I had in New Zealand so I do I do understand I'm surprised I didn't think that there actually would be a connection but uh, there is some at least if you've been looking for it and uh, have been to New Zealand before like me so yeah now I just uh, parked on this dike it's actually quite impressive what the Dutch built to protect themselves from the ocean and I'm right next to a huge beach and the ocean and I'll quickly show you. And I think, although I'm not too hungry yet, this is the perfect spot to have lunch and to read a little and to just relax before I keep driving. Let me quickly show you what I mean. So this will be my view having lunch. this thing makes. It's awesome.
Okay guys, I'm just driving around Zeeland and it is quite nice, but also the holidays have started uh, yesterday in the Netherlands and it is full of tourists and lots of Germans and, and Belgians and, and all of those too. And also it is really hot, exhaustingly hot, 26, 27 degrees for me and in a car on the road it's too much. I really like the concept of Dutch dikes in comparison to the German ones. Like behind me you can see uh, it looks very natural and it's like uh, from behind it looks like a dune and on this side, on the water side, you actually have roads, bicycle paths and it is a lot of concrete and stone but it looks also more sturdy and reliable and yeah and here you actually have a beach and people just use it as a parking lot and I see lots of campers, I don't know, maybe you can even stay overnight here. And obviously it's a lot higher than the German one because the ground there is below sea level here. So yeah, it's actually quite nice. I like the engineering they did here. On the campsite it's 15 euros again just like the last one which is like a minimum fare actually with just one person and just this van no electricity no water nothing else uh, it would be like 10 12 euros but that's why they have this minimum fare well 15 euros is still all right if you compare it with uh, those real campsites all I'm going to do is to cook and prepare food for tomorrow then have a shower and then set to work uh, at the reception. While I was gone taking a shower, they mowed the lawn around Wanda. So as you saw, I... Uh, let me close this for you. So as you saw, I had dinner and I took a shower. So now all I'm going to do is work and prepare for my job interview that I have tomorrow actually. Obviously just a telephone interview because I'm not at home. But still, I'd like to prepare for that a little, maybe edit another vlog. And the Wi-Fi here is very slow but maybe usable for some research and news and stuff. So yeah, let me do that and see you again tomorrow on the road where we're actually gonna move into Belgium, a new country. See you then and good night.